That seems doable. Okay. All right. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, let's start. Uh, grab some blocks if you need them. Uh, remember, it doesn't have to be blocks. You can get um, you can get books or even weights. If you have weights, you can use some weights. Um, and that will be helpful to you. All right, so um, this class, we'll be moving to Zoom um, next week or the week after that. So if you want to be a part of that, if you want to be practice on Zoom, uh, DM me your email, and that would be helpful. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start um, on your shins is good, on your bottom is good. I'm going to start on my shins. And if you have a block or a pillow or a bolster, all of those things work. Um, let's just get the timer. So, I don't really have a good timer. Sorry. I, uh, my mind is somewhere else today. Um, we're ready. All right. Close your eyes wherever you have chosen to begin. Begin with deep breaths. Deep inhale. And exhale. Bring one or both hands to heart. Feel the breath moving right there beneath your hand and feel your heart beating. Breath might get a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. Just follow it, just watch it. Just thoughts that pop up into your mind. And as they pop up, maybe they can just as easily be let go of. Notice how you're feeling this morning. feeling your energy level. Maybe you've come to your mat today for you. For you to relax, for you to release stress, for you to just 
move and breathe. Maybe it's for something else. yourself, to serve everyone, to serve the planet, to serve the animals, to serve the air, to serve the water, to serve your friends, to serve strangers. helps you to feel just a little bit more connected to everyone, every being, every life form. A few more rounds of breath. So make the biggest, biggest inhale and exhale. And as you bring both hands towards the thighs, and again, you can be on your bottom, round your back, take a seated cat, let your head hang, stretch through your fingers, really reach, hug the navel in. And then sliding hands up the thighs. Pinch the shoulder blades, open up your chest, nice and big. Stay there, breathing in and out. And then a few times just with your breath, the exhale rounds you as you hug your navel in, arc your spine, let your head go, tuck your chin, stretch your fingers. As you inhale, shoulders, blades pull together, heart lifts high. You're going at your pace, your speed. With your breath. One more round. Move from center. Hands to the sky as you reach the fingertips up, spread them wide. Drop your shoulders down. It can be a little bit more of a back bend, still kind of open. And then hug the navel in, take a twist over to the left. <laughs> Right hand outside of your left thigh. You get tall, rooted through the tail, lift it through the heart. Hug your navel in to create the twist. Move through your head, left ear, left shoulder, chin to the chest. And take the arms back up to the sky, head comes back to center. Spread your fingers. What about interlacing on here? Interlace your fingers, take them up, bend your elbows so your shoulders aren't riding your ears. And just see about pulling the arms past your head. A little bit of side to side action. And then as you free this, take it over to the right. Tall on the inhale. If your back hand, if you're on your shins, can't touch the ground, find your sacrum. Tall on the inhale. Hug your navel and twist as you exhale. Come back to center one more time. Take it up, interlace again your fingers, drop your shoulders down so elbows are bent. And as you pull the arms back, really broad and open through your chest, open through your armpits. If you can again, just release the shoulders down. And then take a big dip over to the left. So as you go to the left, the left elbow dipping down, stay rooted through your right sitting bone so your butt cheeks don't fall off the ground. So you don't topple over, right? Stay rooted so you don't topple over. And then come back through the center and try the other side. Oh, and then let's just kind of swirl it around. So go to the left and then cross the hands and across the horizon, go to the right. Just do it a few times, hug the navel in. Reverse 
breath out. Take those arms up to the sky, big stretch. All the moves can be as big as you want, as small as you want. And then just let it go. Give a big circle, both arms up, bend your elbows back, and then just the left arm, up, and back, and just the right arm, up, and back. And then one more time, both arms, up, and back. Then again, we have to reverse it, right, from the back to the front, just the left arm from the back, to the front, just the right arm from the back, to the front, all right. Full and over, all fours. Keep your blocks handy if you have them, or your books or your weights, and then right into down dog from here. So spread the fingers, you know what? I lied. Lied about down dog. Bring your fingertips in towards your knees. And if they only go out to the sides, like if your fingertips, that's too much for your wrist, then don't do it. And just from fingertips to knuckles to heel of hand, side to side a few times. And you've noticed that since I have not been teaching as much, whew, my hand and my wrist, everything feels so much tighter. So, all right, then settle down if you can. And start to tuck your toes, it might be easier, to just pull your body weight back. Now when you do it though, don't let your shoulders collapse in. Right, so your chest or collarbone stays broad. And you can come in and out of it. It's not just, whew, go as far as you can go. Push until you can push no further. No, take your time. Breathe. Be easy with yourself. Be gentle. And then bring them back. Circle it out a little bit. Shake it out. If there's anything else you want to do, you can do it. I'm going to move into down dog now. So hips pull up and back. Wiggle this out. Feet a little bit wider than the mat maybe, or at least as wide as your hips, wider than your hips. Bend and straighten your legs. Just have some wiggle time in your dog. Wiggle your dog. And then go ahead and do, take your big toes on the mat, and then the heels off the mat, and all the other toes pretty much off the mat. And your knees could be bent, just pull the hips up and back, up and back, stretch. And then from here we'll walk our hands back towards the feet, and just a rag doll. Grab opposite elbow, sway yourself side to side, let your head go. Thinking about your bottom, lift your sitting bones up to the sky, and then imagine you're trying to separate them. Your right sitting bone moves to the right, your left sitting bone moves to the left. If you don't know what that is, take your hands and find the pointy part of your butt. And there's two pointy bones there. And imagine they're just moving out to the sides of the room, finding more space in your sacrum. Just breathe. Hands come down, heels on the mat. Now toes off. Sink your hips as low as they can go for a yogic squat. And then pull your hips back up to the sky. So as you lower down, put a little bit more pressure. Think about this is happening from the top of the hips. So the thighs roll out and you're ending up more on the pinky edge of the foot. Now you might not be very low, I'm not very low. Go to the right, so you're on the right wall of your foot and your heel lifts and then you are on, I'll show this way because that might be easier. So I've gone to the right and it looks like that. And then go to the left and you might be able to pull the knee back or push the thigh of the opposite. So it's just pressing back, opening up the hips a little bit more. And then maybe we hang out to the right and find a little bit more of a stretch, pull your butt back and walk your hands kind of off to the left. If it bothers your knee at all, you don't go so far. And then switch, take it to the other side. So your butt's kind of pulling back and you walk your hands out. And then come back to the center and then as we come up, we spin our toes back on and our heels back off. And then from here, last one, pull your hips, like all your body weight over to the right and walk your hands. Can they go off your mat to the left? And just looking for opposition here. 
hips pulling one way, hands walking the other, and then breathe into all the, all the fields. Side body, whatever is speaking to you in this moment. If you need to be on a block, you're on a block or a book or a weight. And then come back to the center, take it over to the other side, pull the hips to the left and walk your hands to the right. And breathe. Knees can be bent. Let your head go, your jaw relax. And then as you walk back to center, now start to walk back out to plank. Shoulders over the wrists. Your feet are still wide. Your hands are a little bit more narrow because they're right underneath the shoulders. Hug the navel in and just stay and breathe. Big inhale. Heels back, tailbone long, heart forward. Hug the front ribs in. Push the ground away. How are you breathing? Are you searching for the breath? Is it really rapid, shallow? Can you make it longer? Do you need to modify? These are all your questions. One more round. And then soften the knees down, toes can touch, pull your hips back for child's pose. Stretch, palms to the sky, forehead down. <sighs> down dog. Right leg to the sky, straight back. Hug the front ribs in, ten fingers strong. Knee to your nose on the exhale. Take it back up on the inhale. Knee to your nose as you exhale. Take it back up. As you travel back up, make sure you see that your toes are pointed to the ground and you're using the muscles of the back side of the leg to lift the leg. This one will step it forward. Exhale, knee to your nose, step the foot between the hands. Soften your back knee down. From your back toes pressing, squeeze the inner thighs, rise up. And then take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and your right high hand to your sacrum. So your left hand is not pulling your leg across, right? Your knee is gonna stay right in the center. Your twist happens through your ribs as you exhale, hug the navel in and twist. Two breaths, inhale. Hug the navel and twist. One breath, inhale. Hug and twist. Back to center on the inhale. Anything you wanna do here. Hands come down, lift the back knee to straight-ish legs. You can move back and forth. You can wander your hands around. You can explore what your own self needs. One more breath. And then back into the right knee. All right. If blocks make this easier, do you use blocks or do you use your weights? I'm gonna not use it so you can see, but I will probably be fingertips. So, think of cat pose. We've done this a lot. Squeeze your inner thighs. It's like this big scissoring action. And then round your back like your tanking cat. Can you lighten the load in the heel? Can you lighten the load in the toes? The whole sole of the foot's off the ground. Pull your heel, don't move your shoulders. Pull your heel towards your butt and then take that back up. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Step the right foot to meet the left. Wiggle it around. Left leg to the sky, straight back. So look where it's going. Hug the front ribs in. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, take it up. Squeeze the back of the leg to lift the leg. Exhale, knee to your nose, hold, hug it in. One more time, take the back of the leg to lift the leg. Exhale, knee to your nose. So it's the same if you'll notice, right now my heel's towards my butt. That's what we just did on the reverse. And then can you, from here, bring the foot between the hands? And that's hard, right? So sometimes you have to lean to the right, or you have to lift up your left hand, or you have to actually move the foot. All those things get it there. Back toes down, squeeze through the inner thighs, rise up. Lengthen your tail, hug the low belly in. Twist to the left. You are not moving that right leg or left leg. Get tall as you inhale. Hug the navel and twist on the exhale. Tall on the inhale. Hug and twist as you exhale. Tall on the inhale. Exhale. Center on the inhale. Ooh, explore space. Hands come down, back knee, 
lifts to straightish legs. Be on blocks, be on weights. A few rounds of the breath. You can move, you can stay still, you can wander, you can explore. Then back into your knee. Let's try this again. So again, being on something helps. So first we gotta pull right hip forward, left hip back, and then think of cat. So you're whew, really pulling the low belly in. Can you lighten the load in the heel? Can you hold and hover the foot? And can you still breathe? And now squeeze your heel up towards your butt. Hang out here. Squeeze those inner thighs. And then take the knee all the way up to the sky. Bend and open. Left foot meets the right. Plank on your inhale. Belly and chest to the mat. You can drop your knees. Lower with control. From your toes pressing down, shoulder blades squeeze together. Roll the shoulders back. Come into baby cobra. Pinch your shoulder blades together and your elbows towards one another. Hang out here. See if you can still breathe. So attempt to pull the low belly in. And breathe big into your chest and into your back and into your side body as much as you can. It's hard. And then lower down, belly chest. Push up all fours. Tuck your toes, pull your hips back. Let's move through that. Down dog. Right leg inhale to the sky. Knee to nose, exhale. To the sky, inhale. You can always choose to hop, right? You can always take those handstand hops. Knee to your nose, exhale, probably shorten the dog. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, try to do this slow motion though, so think about that action. Exhale, knee to your nose, your heels squeeze into your butt, pull the foot forward. Back knee down, hands to the sky, breathe it in. Find your twist, breathing out. Back to the sky, breathing in. Hands down, lift up the back knee, two straight legs, breathing out. Then back into the right knee, take a twist, right arm to the sky, breathing in. Exhale to the top of the mat, breathing out, all the breath out. Half lift, inhale, exhale, all the breath out. Rise to the sky, use your leg muscles, inhale, exhale, right back down to the ground. Hands down, left foot steps back, inhale. Can you find that action? So I'm already on my fingertips. Exhale, step it back down, dog. Inhale, bend the knees, roll yourself forward to play. Exhale, belly chest to the ground, same time. From your toes, hug the navel and roll the shoulders back, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Go bigger, roll the shoulders back, stay lower, go bigger, inhale. Exhale, lower down, one more time. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, exhale, find down dog. Reset, breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Left leg rises, inhale, knee to nose, exhale. To the sky, maybe hop, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Take it to the sky, inhale. Take the slow motion, think about what you're doing. Exhale, knee to your nose, your heels squeeze into your butt. <sighs> Push the ground away, find as much room as possible. Step the foot between the hands. Back knee down, inhale, arms to sky. Is your breath there? Exhale, find your twist. If it's not, reset. Center, inhale, breathing in, heart opens. Exhale, hands down, two straight legs, all the breath out. Bend into the knee, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale to the top of the mat, all the breath out. Half lift, breathe in. Fold, breath out. To the sky, rise, inhale. I'm gonna catch my hands behind my back. So whenever I do this, I think of a big rooster. I really pop it up my chest. So squeeze your shoulder blades together, roll those shoulders back, kind of wiggle it around so that you can find the biggest, most open chest, the biggest, most open heart. 
Please work towards the biggest, most open heart. Press through your feet, lift that open heart to the sky, move your fist back. Exhale, bend your knees, let your head go. <sighs> bend just your right knee. So it's like your right armpit and your right knee you're trying to meet, and you're looking to the left. And your left leg is as straight as possible. And then switch, bend your left knee. Oh, that one hurts. <laughs> and then you want to just do it a couple times. Rock from one side to the other side. Hurts, but not enough. Like, oh gosh, I just hurt something with. Don't worry. Thank you. We're really concerned. All right, come back to center. Hands come down, right foot steps back. Here's your inhale. All right, now think about that action again. Can you push down to lift up? Squeeze your heel to your butt, and then take it all the way up. Whew. Inhale, roll yourselves forward, plank. Exhale, if you want, you can go halfway down to Chaturanga or just all the way down again. From here, from your toes, roll the shoulders back, full cobra, up dog, what do you want? Exhale, down dog, hips to the sky. One big breath in, one big breath out. All right, let's jump into the top. So, if you like, shorten your dog a little bit. And then, notice my shoulders are behind my wrists. I'm going to try to bring my shoulders over your wrists. So look what that did to my feet. Now I'm on my tippy toes. So maybe you want to come in a little bit closer. Maybe you're on more of the ball of the foot. But whatever it is, here you are. And this is challenging and hard, and you could just stay here, and that could be your jump, right? Trying to lift your tippy toes, maybe just kind of wiggling side to side, side to side. Or give it a go. Can your heels squeeze to your butt? Shoulders over your wrists. Can your heels squeeze to your butt? Shoulders stay over the wrists. One more time, can your heels squeeze your butt? Oh, make it to the top of your mat, forward fold. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. Half lift on your inhale, fold as you exhale. To the sky, we rise, inhale. To our heart, bring your hands, exhale. Slow down. We can serve no one if we're not present in what we're doing, mindful in what we're doing. So just slow down. Find your breath. Chair pose. Feet close, feet wide, your choice. Pull your hips back, hug the, whew, it's almost like great right? cat. And then lift up your heart. Pull the hips back and down, hug again, lift up your heart. Prayer twist, we'll just tap to the right. I'm going on the inside and then come back to center. Exhale, you could go on the outside. And center. To the right. And center. To the left. And center. One more round. And center. Last round. Hold center. Pull the hips back and down. Hug front ribs. See if you can use your back muscles to lift you up just a little bit more. The back body really, hamstrings, glutes, exhale, dive. Half lift, fold. Shall we try it here? 10 fingers down, feet go wider. Lift your heels. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, and can your knees now squeeze from this direction? Can your knees squeeze your shoulders? And kind of roll into the back of the arm. Okay. Now, from here, lean forward, hug your navel in. Can you squeeze so much that your right heel squeezes toward your butt? And lower down. Squeeze left heel, and lower down. Maybe it's a little bit of a lift, and lower down. Maybe it's just your toes, and lower down. Keep it going, right, and lower down. Squeeze left, and lower down. Squeeze right, hold, maybe squeeze left also, hold, breathe. Step or jump back, chaturanga. Meet me in down dog. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Now let's just flow through it. Big inhale, big exhale. 
Look forward. You can take a hop. Inhale. Exhale, step or jump. Fold it all down. Let it go. Directly to chair. Inhale. Stay prayer twist to the right. I'm going to try to get the outside. Breathe in. Pull your hips back and down. Exhale. So right now my hands are at my armpit. As you exhale, hug your navel in and maybe your heart, heart and center can come together. Now if your knees are just smooshed on each other, can they find a little bit of space? Maybe right arm to the sky, left arm to the ground. Pull the hips back and down. Check that everything's in alignment. Open heart. Breath moves freely. Switch it to center. Inhale. Let's go all the way up. Oh, and then all the way down. The breath. Inhale to chair. Sink your hips. Prayer twist. Take your time with it. You're building this. You're building your pose. You're building your practice. That requires patience and time and kindness and love. So as you're ready, if you're ready, then you can begin to add on and open up. Breathe. Come back to center. Let's just take it all the way up. Inhale. All the way down. Exhale. Inhale. Heart lifts. You could definitely do crow again or just step back. Jump back. Find your way to down dog. Breath in. And out. One more. Breath in. And out. Right leg rises. Bend your knee. Open your hip. Exhale, tap the left elbow. Heart reaches forward, so you haven't shifted to the left. Inhale, take it to the sky. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Back heel in and down, squeeze the inner thighs, rise where you're one. Take your time with it. Straighten the right leg. Hug the navel in, lift up and back, and see if you can sink just a little bit deeper. Push through the pinky edge of your left foot, squeeze through the inner thighs. Interlace the hands behind the back, roll the shoulders, open heart, breathe. Just breathe so big. Straighten your right leg, spin to center, so toes in, heels out. You might find a little bit of your hips moving forward. Lift up through your chest and back. And then spin your left toes forward. Now it's a warrior two base. Humble warrior two. Don't let your butt sway out to the left. Just breathe into it. Pinky edge, yeah, you can look at it of your right foot's grounded. The inner arch lifted some. From here, let's squeeze the inner thighs. We're going to leave with our right hand. So reach your right hand towards the floor and then towards the front of your new room mat all the way up to the sky to reverse your warrior. Side angle, pull the hips back. Keep the left side body long and strong. Stretch it over. Straight left leg, spin toes in. Both hands to the sky, lift up and back. Feel like there's a big squeezy ball in between your hands. Squeeze it. Exhale. Hands come down to the ground. <sighs> Inhale. Look up. Exhale. However you want to get back to Chaturanga. Handstand hops. Whatever it is. <sighs> if it's not halfway down, it's all the way to the mat. Down dog breath in. And out. Left leg to the sky. Bend it open. Exhale, touch the right elbow, pause. Notice where your shoulders are, where your heart is. Hug the navel in. Take it back to the sky. Step the foot between the hands. The roots, find the roots of your pose so you don't topple over, right? Squeeze the inner thighs. Just feel it out. What's different about this side? 
What do I need to nurture a little bit more? Straighten up, stretch up, up and back. Reset those roots and then see if maybe you can find a little bit more depth. Interlace it, switch up the interlacing of the fingers, move the shoulders open, chest, breathe. And straighten the left leg, spin the toes in. Woo! Pelvis moves forward. Lift your sternum, that big rooster chest up to the sky. <sighs> Spin your right toes around. Get that warrior two base. And as you bend into the right knee, humble warrior two, which doesn't have to be deep, right? I always say it on the second side. <laughs> Sorry. Let your head go. But you knew that, right? You knew it. You knew that you were doing what you can do. You knew you are doing what suits you. <sighs> Imagine all your troubles, all your worries just shaking out of your head. <sighs> Lighten the load. Okay, it's going to be the left hand that leads you, but you've got to really use your inner thighs, relax your toes, and hug your navel in. So left hand releases, and it's reaching, and your knees are still bent, so it's a lot of leg work, like right here, woo, and then take it up, 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 all the way up, reverse your warrior. A side angle. Breathe. Straighten right leg, toes in. Your squeezy ball right there in between your hands. Squeeze it up. Up, up, up like it's going to touch the sky. And exhale. Hands come down to the ground. It's like it just went through a warrior two. However, we want to get back. Down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out, three rounds of breath. Just checking that you're still here. Big breath in, big breath out. Last one. Let's add on just a little bit more. Right leg to the sky, bend and open. We'll add in fallen triangle. Can always modify by just dropping the right knee down. Exhale, left elbow. Place the back foot down first if you want. And can you lift up? Stretch the right leg out. The more we press down, the more we lift up. Breathe. Hand comes down, hug the navel in. All the way to the back, bend the elbow, or bend your knee, not your elbow. Good bend your elbow too. Step it forward, or warrior one. With the inhale. Hands clasp. Take another inhale to open chest. Stretching the legs, spin to the left. Breathe into your heart. Exhale to the back of the mat, warrior two. Big inhale, lean back a little bit. Exhale, humble. Stay for a breath, inhale. Stay for a breath, exhale. Keep the legs bent, inhale, right arm leads you. Reverse your warrior, maybe the right hand behind the back. Exhale, side angle. Stay for a moment. If you want to open your heart a little bit more, pinch the shoulder blades, wrap the right arm around the back, full bind if you have it, anything you want to work with. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, straighten left leg, toes in, Big that big ball up to the sky, exhale, stay in warrior two this time. Reverse on the inhale, reaching up, reaching back. And then exhale, I'm going to move back some. It's coming to side um, half moon. So we'll pull ourselves that away and lift. You can always use a block if wanted, if needed. And then think about stretching out the right side body. Um, use my block. Lengthen out the right side body. Use your left leg. Maybe bend their left knee, left hand grabs, ah. left ankle, kick the foot back, open up the chest. And then as we come down, hopefully not crashing, I can't promise, your left leg behind your right. And just pull, oh man, pull the body back. 
Let your head go. Slow down. From here, our left leg is going to be our base leg. Start to bend your knees and lift your chest some. And then we're just going to slide the right leg over the left leg. Hands to heart for eagle. Right arm under, left arm over. Pinch the shoulder blades so the shoulder blades pull down and your fingertips lift up. And then take, maybe this is enough, take both elbows to the outside of your right thigh. Possibly unwind. I'm using my right hand to press into my right thigh to get some more space through the side body. Left arm down, right arm to the sky. Change your gaze to the sky. I would fall down right now. Use a block underneath your left hand. You might even be able to touch the ground. We got into it a little bit weird though, so. Arm balance if you wanted. And then find your center to pull yourself back. Right leg comes up with us. Woo. Hug the navel in. Kick the right leg forward. Just stay. Right knee bends. We'll bring it behind the left again. Again, maybe, yeah, no, not at all. Never, never did we do that. And now we're gonna work towards a seated twist. Right leg can definitely be straight. Be like, what just happened? Just find your way to your bottom. Tall on the inhale, twist to the exhale. Slow down, regroup, reset. the inside of that left leg. And then everyone, everyone, it's just me. Unravel your legs. Shake them out side to side. And then press down, shoulder blades back, lift up your hips. Doesn't have to be a big reverse tabletop. Drop those wrists. Drop your bottom now. Cross your ankles. Cross your ankles. And then see if you can really pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Now, could you keep the hug and extend your arms forward? So your knees are trying with their biggest effort to pull into your armpits and your hands are like pushing into imaginary ground. And this itself should be very challenging, okay? But perhaps, dun dun dun, you can take this to the ground. All right, I'll make it quick because I don't think we have much time. So, blocks make everything easier. I'm now hands down, and I'm gonna try and find that same thing. So this is also tough because you have to be on the top of your toenails. So I'm gonna come to the tops of my toes, which could be done on your actual ball of the foot or your, um, like your, the back of the toes, but it, it's trying to get to the actual toes and then pulling in knees into the armpits. And then maybe your right foot could lift and maybe your left foot too. <laughs> I didn't say that was easy. And then you've miraculously stepped or jumped back to Chaturanga and you're now in down dog. Things to work on. <laughs> Let's reset. Plank on your inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up on your inhale. Down dog as you exhale. Breath in. Out. Her left leg to the sky. Bend and open. Knee to elbow. Fall and triangle, press down. So they're already that lift. 
Breathe. Breathe. Hand comes down, hug the navel in, all the way up the back. Step it forward with the exhale. Inhale to lift you up. Hands behind the back. Inhale, opens the heart. Spins you to center. Exhale, warrior two. Shoulders back, heart lifts. Prep this with a big heart. Exhale, humble. Be humble. Left arm reaches you to reverse, to peaceful. Side angle brings you in. Pinch your shoulder blades, open your chest to the sky. Maybe you come in for a partial bind, full bind. Whatever you got, whatever you're wishing to explore today. And then straighten legs. Toes in, squeeze that imaginary ball. Up and back, up and back, up and back. Oh. Warrior two. Half moon. Okay, so instead of all this weight dumping into your left leg, can you lift out of it? Clearly my left side. Still working on that sprained ankle from, gosh, four years ago now, on the right side. <sighs> and then, uh, okay, maybe you grab your foot. <laughs> this is working out wonderfully. <laughs> grab your foot, kick it back. And then, right leg behind left. Just breathe. And then you walk your hands in a little bit closer. So now our body weight's gonna move more into the back foot, the right foot. So to already engage all the muscles, including right here, our core, back to lift the left up. The weight pulls a little bit more into the heel. Hips sink, squeeze the inner thighs. Left arm perhaps underneath the right. This is enough. You could take it to the outside of your did you ever twist to the left? You did, yes. Outside of your left leg. And then maybe then the arms coming out. Now if you wanted to do the arm balance, so I'm on, I know it looks like I'm on my right, but I'm on this in my left thigh. So if I were to take the arm balance, I'd have to land my other foot for base. And I could come onto both elbows. And then play around. You could come onto one elbow too. And then you can pull yourself back to center. Coming up. Slow down. Left leg presses forward. Slow down. Bend the knee, take it to the outside of the right, and see if you can lower down. Follow on the inhale. Twist as you exhale. And again, straightening your left leg is an option. Open up to the inside. And then as you come back to center, unwind again. Feet down, shoulders back, lift up those hips. And 
then dropping your bottom towards your hands, send the legs forward. And take a fold. Your knees can be bent. I don't know how much time we have because I set this late, but I think it's a couple minutes. So I'm just going to do the shorter version of the hip opener, but if you wanted to stay in like half pigeon for a while, or double pigeon, or just here and breathe. So toes pulled towards the shin. And if it notice, like, use your hands. Because if you feel lopsided here, you can notice that you feel lopsided or like the hips are kind of off-centered. Try to center them so that the opening is at this right hip. Like if your pelvis kind of feels like tilted. The more you use your hands to kind of feel out your body, then you'll be like, oh, yeah. Go into 
the Shavasana just like this. You'd rather be a little bit more grounded. You bring your knees in. You can take happy baby up there. Ooh. You can move your block. I would find a happy baby in a twist before making your way into Shavasana. your knees in. Give yourself a big hug. Thank yourself for coming to your mat to move from a place of service that serves yourself in order to serve everyone else just a little bit more lovingly, kinder. Take care of yourself, each other, all the beings, ocean, the trees, the air, the animals. Move into your Shavasana, extending the legs, closing your eyes. You can bring hand to heart, hand to belly, you can just let the arms lay down. Once again, feeling your breath moves in and out of your body. Thank you for practicing today. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoy your day.